Hi guys, and welcome to today's dev vlog. Based on the feedback we've received in the comments, we've gone ahead and implemented several quality of life improvements to make editing easier. So over on the left hand side here, you can see we've added the undo and redo buttons. We've also added a line tool, and we've added some fixes over here to the entity deleting and the entity cloning features. We've also added the map properties editor, as you can see down here. And there's a new 512 by 512 template map, which can be loaded via the welcome splash screen. We'll go over how to use these new features shortly, but first I need to share something important. So the devs for the game are currently really against modding, and they're actually banning people off the Steam forums and may start banning people from the subreddit. So if you want modding to be allowed in They Are Billions, make sure you tell the devs by posting on the Steam discussion boards and posting all over the subreddit. If modding is banned, then this level editor is going to go away, so make sure you voice your opinion. So we've also launched a new subreddit, slash r slash They Are Billions Modded, where you can actually share over your custom maps and modded content, and we won't actually ban you for sharing. So now we'll go ahead and go through some of the tools that we've added and show you how to actually use them. So first up, we're going to go ahead and try the line tool. So this is one of the new tools. So to demonstrate what the old tool, the single point tool actually did, if we actually get some water, we can draw a shape. It's a standard tool. Now if we swap over to the line tool, this tool actually lets you draw lines. So you can draw lines just like this. At this stage, you can't actually change the brush size with the line tool, but that will be added in a later update. So now that we've actually drawn some shapes on here, we can try the undo and redo. So if we press undo, it's going to undo the things we've drawn one after another, and then you can redo those. However, if you actually make another change, you won't be able to re redo something that you've actually overridden. So if we turn some entities on over here, you can no longer simply drag and drop over these. What you actually need to do is grab the selection tool and then after that you can actually individually move these. Now, as you select things, over on the right hand side you can see it'll actually automatically jump to the entity you've selected. And now while we're over here we're actually going to demonstrate that if we actually delete an entity, it'll actually stay open in the correct place. So now you can easily delete multiple entities at once. We're going to continue to improve this to make it much easier to manipulate entities. The selection tool is eventually going to be updated so you can actually select multiple entities at once and drag them around, but that's in a later update. So now the other new feature we added was the map properties. So these are a lot of the map properties that are available to be edited. Some of the interesting ones that were actually requested. Um, you can edit the show full map. I assume that allows you to see the full map at once. So you can actually edit the game time using this value here. Now for some reason it's a really obscure value, so one day is actually equal to about 84,000 of these. So if you, want to, if you want to start off at day 2, you would do 84,000 times 2 and set the value here. The only thing to be careful about with the game time, you'll also need to update these physics times to be based on the game time. I'm not exactly sure on the values, so it's going to take some trial and error, but the physics may break if you set invalid values here. So at this stage it's kind of trial and error. So that was just a quick overview of what we actually added and a quick demo. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more dev vlogs and more features added to the map editor, make sure you like the video and leave a comment. If you want to stay up to date with the progress, make sure you subscribe to the channel.